Welcome back to the show. Sprint car fans got an added bonus on Sunday with the scheduled 410 Sprinters running at Susquehanna Speedway Park, along with the late models. So let's take a look at some of Sunday's action. Danny Dietrich in the 48 and the number one of Mark Smith made up the front row of the 25 lap feature event. In one and two, Smith jumps to the lead. As they go down the back stretch, Dietrich pulls in line behind Smith. Smith's Mach 1 chassis machine runs the high line of three and four. Down the front chute, he opens up his lead in completing the first lap. In the early going, Brent Marks, who won the previous night at Lincoln Speedway, flexed his muscle. Here he gets by NASCAR driver Jason Leffler in the yellow 13. Behind them is Fred Raymer, who won the first 410 race of the season at Suski a month ago. However, Leffler would retake the fourth spot through turns one and two. Briefly, Marks and Raymer fly past Leffler on the backstretch and battle for the position. Later, Marks would push up in front of Blaine Heimbach to take over third. Smith had built up a comfortable lead until encountering some traffic. Dietrich would use this to his advantage and work the outside of Smith in taking over the top spot on lap 11. Here he makes a bold move to hold off Smith. A lap later, Raymer runs high in one and two and passes Heimbach for fourth place. Dietrich continued the lead, but did not allow lap traffic to jeopardize his gap over Smith. Smith also had to worry about Marks, who was gaining on him in the closing laps. Three-time NASCAR champion Tony Stewart made his second appearance at Susquehanna this year. However, he was only able to muster a 13th place finish. The only caution of the race came out with two laps to go. Dietrich gets a great restart on Smith. Smith and Dietrich both run the cushion through one and two. On the exit of the turn, Dietrich stretches out his lead. Smith could not close the gap over the final lap as Danny Dietrich goes on to post his first victory at Susquehanna Speedway Park. Marks, Raymer, and Leffler, who all won their respective heat races, round out the top five. In the 25 lap late model race, Randy Stout in the nine would lead the field to the green. Outside pole sitter Chase Billet in the 22 would work the Stouts outside in one and two while having to contend with the 69 of Justin Earhart. Earhart pulls the Billets inside down the backstretch. While Billet lets it all hang out through three and four, Earhart moves under him and up to second place as they exit the turn. A lap later, we have some great three wide action with the F48 of Colby Fry working the inside of number 20 Steve Billet and 30 of Bob Minnick. Always a threat to win at Susky and virtually everywhere else he goes, Gene Knob in the orange and black number one makes a pass on Travis Meese to take over fifth place. Fry's top five run came to an end with eight laps completed. Stout would get a good jump on Earhart on the restart. Chase Billet, Knob, and Larry Bear in the twin to Fry's ride make up the top five at this point. Not much changed among the top five drivers although Knob would eventually get by Earhart for the runner-up spot. He was able to complete the pass off of turn two. Some cautions late in the race kept things close amongst the top two, but each time Randy Stout would pull away on the restarts to win his second consecutive race and become the first repeat winner of the season. In your second season running for the line box, things are certainly uh, falling together pretty well. Oh yeah. I Without people like that, I'd, I'd be sitting in the stands watching like everybody else. Uh, they've been racing for a long time and had some uh, pretty famous drivers drive for them. And uh, I uh, lettered their cars when I was younger, and uh, so it's kind of funny that I ended up in their car. But uh, without people like that, I, I couldn't afford to race anymore. It's too expensive, and uh, I've been lucky. I worked my butt off, and I'm not a very good talker. So <laughs> you kind of drive your butt off, and, uh, and uh, the people are nice enough to offer you stuff and do the best you can for them. And they're great people to drive for. Gene Knob, Justin Earhart, Chase Billet, and Larry Bear round out the top five in the late models. So this week, the special at Susquehanna Speedway Park was 410 Sprints. Next week, the Steel Block Bandits come to town with $1,500 on the line for the winner. Now, coming up next, it's more action from Saturday night at Heston Speedway. Pit Pass returns right after this. You smell that? New furniture smell? Yeah, but it's more than that. It's, it smells like mine. Yep, it is. Just sign right here. Mine? Mine? You can... That's mine. 
I do. Thank you. Is this weird? This is weird. Aaron's wants you to feel what it's like to own new furniture. You're pre-approved for up to $2,000 in merchandise without needing credit. So shop today. Get started at Aaron's.com slash 2000.